What is up guys, welcome to another new one. Today we are here with some Gamescom info. So this is going to be my breakdown of the Gamescom trailer. Um, it hasn't even been released yet. Gamescom hasn't happened as I'm recording this. It's only half past eight. Um, but yeah, this is the Gamescom trailer itself. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the trailer and pause it at the most significant parts and we'll go from there. So without further ado, let's get straight into this breakdown. There's some top great talent in town who's ready to make history. But this is the next level. Go on. Take it and learn. Okay, so the reason why I paused it here is because we can see a new few cars. So as predicted, the Hoonicorn is indeed in the game, as well as a Diablo SV. And I think that's a BMW M5 in the background too. So I thought I'd pause that show you the cars. But anyway, we're going to go in ahead and, you know, carry on with the gameplay. So, uh, yeah. Magnus Walker's in town. And we smashed that legendary run of his and they'll have to come back at us. Check this. I saw you guys doing some fast runs out there. It was really impressive. Okay, so right here, there's quite a few interesting things. So that yellow car, it does look like an S2000. It looks like a Honda S2K, which again, it kind of boosts the premise of Hondas being in the game and whatnot. There is also, I believe, that's a Golf on the right, and behind that kind of, there's like a, there's like something in the way. There's lights, and those lights look like an R33's lights. So whether R33's in the game, not sure, but that looks like an R33's front end, um, and I guess that's just interesting to see. So. Um, with that being said, we'll carry on with the trailer. Travis mentioned you worked a couple cars yourself. That's cool. Use whatever tool you want. I want it ready for not. Okay, so as we can see, this is again a very cool thing. So basically, once you apply body kits, you can remove them to unlock your part back. So as you can see here, that is a custom side mirror. Um, and to unlock the side mirror again and pick another one, you have to remove body kits. And this makes me think that, that there's interchangeable body kits and stuff across those lines. Um, and that's why some of the parts aren't really accessible from certain type of areas, if you understand what I mean. Um, but anyway, with that being said, we'll carry on with the rest of the trailer. Before he leaves the city. I'm talking stupid power. What kind of crew are you running with these days? Huh? Okay, so right here we can see a few interesting things. So we can see the RX-7 FD, that's the second generation RX-7 I believe. Um, obviously they're right in front of us. On our left we can see an Evo and on the far right behind the to, uh, uh, RX-7, it's a 240SX or a 180SX I believe, which is really cool to see. So um, yeah, just pointing that out, we'll go on to the next clip. Okay, so this is one that I never thought I'd see. So if, if you do look at this, that is quite clearly a Lamborghini Diablo. Now, um, the Lamborghini Diablo hasn't been in many Need for Speed games recently. Um, and it's just mad to think that we can drive around with custom Lamborghini Diablos. Because obviously all the cars in this game are going to have body kits and whatnot. Um, so, I mean, I thought that was really mad just to see the Gal the um, D Diablo sorry, in the game. But anyway, with that being said, we'll move on to the final section of the trailer. Ask yourself, are you the kind of driver who's in for the rush? And the last thing we have to see here is the stars. Now, we already kind of know this, and, you know, I'm going to cover this in the Icons video, but because that's kind of mainly what it's all about. But we can see Mori, Morihashi San, I think his name is, um, Akai, uh, we can see Ken Block, we can see uh, Magmus, we can see the Risky Devils, um, and that's it, I think, you know, I think I mentioned all of them there. Um, and those are all the icons in the game. Pretty interesting. Those are the people that we're going to be trying to chase in the game, in, in a sense. You know, those are the people that we're going to try to kind of emulate and try to get up to their level in terms of reputation in the game, which is really cool. Um, and that's it. Then, obviously, it, it, it kind of rolls on to the pre-order screen where you can see the M3 uh, kind of gameplay, which hasn't been announced yet because, obviously, I'm recording this before Gamescom. Um, um, it's actually 15 minutes till Gamescom starts. And that is... The video. So if you guys enjoyed, found it helpful, please hit the like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Stay safe and peace.